This is Graham Stephan. He's a real estate investor, podcaster, entrepreneur, and YouTube creator with over 4 million subscribers on his main channel. He started posting on YouTube in 2017 and he shared plenty of ups and downs along the way. I'm very proud to say that this property right here was free. This is my first time ever selling a physical product of this magnitude, so I had no idea what I was doing. After diving into his YouTube catalog across five, yeah, five of his channels, we found three powerful strategies that Graham uses to grow his creator business. And they're strategies you can use too, no real estate investing required. If you're new to the channel, my name's Daniel and I'm the resident video creator here at Uscreen. We make videos focused entirely on helping you learn, grow, and earn a living in the creator economy. The first step to building a creator business empire like Graham Stephan is to think like an investor. Just like you shouldn't invest every last penny you have into Dogecoin, Graham doesn't invest all of his time and energy into one platform. Instead, he has a variety of ways to reach his audience and each platform serves one of three different purposes. YouTube and Twitter are both platforms that Graham is active on that fall under the discovery portion of his platform portfolio. These platforms are where new followers find Graham's content and begin to see what he's all about. The second portion of Graham's platform portfolio is dedicated to nurturing the audience he's built on the previous platforms. As a quick note, these aren't perfectly divided categories. His podcast, The Iced Coffee Hour, gets posted on YouTube, so you could call it a discovery channel, but those podcasts are also available on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and so on. So Graham's listeners can spend their whole commute with him and start to feel a deeper connection. His weekly newsletter is also a powerful way to nurture an audience, and as an added bonus, subscribers to an email newsletter are an owned audience, making him less reliant on social media platforms or their leaders to keep him in touch with his fans. The platforms we've mentioned so far have the opportunity to earn money from sponsored posts or ad revenue, but the last segment of Graham's platform portfolio is entirely dedicated to monetization. He sells merch like this dislike unsub shirt on a Shopify store, has online courses for real estate and for YouTube creators, and he has his own direct-to-consumer coffee company. With multiple income streams, he's insulated from the normal ups and downs of individual revenue sources. If YouTube AdSense payouts take a nosedive, he's got sponsorships, courses, and physical goods to pick up the slack. If you've seen our video on marketing funnels, you might notice that the three segments of his platform portfolio each relate to some part of the funnel. Having a presence on multiple platforms is only helpful if they work together to funnel your audience towards your ultimate goal. For example, if you discover Graham on YouTube, that might lead to the podcast. And then after feeling more connected, you might buy some coffee or some merch. It's good. Graham's coffee brand is actually something we need to take a closer look at because it's part of an advanced level tactic that has a ton of potential. If you look at the Bankroll Coffee website, Graham's name isn't plastered all over the screen. In fact, his name only appears once on the About Us page. At first, that might sound kind of weird. Wouldn't he want to be the face of his coffee brand? Well, the answer is no. And the reason why is kind of genius. While Graham certainly isn't shy about promoting bankroll coffee on his YouTube channel, the separation between his personal brand and his coffee brand means that he can help bankroll grow by bringing in an already established audience and target a wider group of potential customers who might not have heard of him. At the end of the day, I just wanna build a brand that's strong enough to stand on its own and isn't reliant on one single influencer pushing it to their audience to be successful. His personal brand is an asset to the business for sure, but it doesn't rely on him to function and can grow beyond his initial reach. This doesn't just work for physical goods. Justin Rhodes uses the same tactic for his membership, Abundance Plus. He built an audience and personal brand on his own YouTube channel under his name. But when he launched a membership website, he called it Abundance Plus, not Justin Rhodes membership. The Abundance Plus brand has grown beyond just his family to include other instructors and homesteaders. This allows Justin to provide more value to his customers than if he had kept the membership under his name alone. And it means that if he ever steps back from producing content, his membership business would continue to thrive. Although Justin Rhodes and Graham Stephan have wildly different content and products, they both understand the potential of leveraging their personal brand to bring an existing audience to a new business, and then setting up that business for success 
beyond themselves. Before we get into the third tactic that Graham Stephan uses to build his thriving creator business, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you never miss a breakdown of the growth and monetization strategies used by successful creators. Graham's expert strategy number three is quitting. Well, kind of. He's not afraid to make large changes to his business and make them publicly, like renaming and changing the direction of entire channel. There's no more, it's the family. We've changed the name to Graham Stephan After Hours. Or reducing the number of podcast episodes that go out per week. Maybe we go down to every other week, and if there's a week there's, there's truly nothing, then we just skip it. Graham has shown on multiple occasions that you don't have to keep doing something just because you built a habit. But the real genius is how he makes the changes. When your audience gets used to your content looking a certain way or getting uploaded on a certain date, sudden changes can be jarring. Graham knows that and he's transparent about what's changing and why. So beginning on this date here, our prices will be increased accordingly just to be able to offset the additional costs that we pay. No more, no less. It takes a little bit of extra openness and some vulnerability to admit that something isn't working, but it goes a long way in retaining the trust of the audience that you've worked so hard to build. For more on how top creators are building their video businesses, check out the playlist on screen right now. It has all of our video business breakdowns so far, and we're adding more all the time. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.